Hey guys, welcome to the next episode in the Celtic Let's Play on Football Manager 2013 in the Premier League. Now, this is the game against Southampton at St Mary's. So, we have finally got our first major away win of the season, as I say. I discount Shamrock Rovers and we move on to Southampton. So, uh, we've got Adam Matthew starting. Paulo Ferreira's average rating is not the greatest, although he's only played like two or three games on the side. It'll give Adam Matthews a go. Uh, and uh, Owen Hargreaves was coming for Joe Ledley, who's... Uh, uh, thing was uh, what's it called percentage what's the percentage thing called I've just my mind's just gone totally blank I don't believe it um, the condition dear me I'm getting worse um, and yeah so they've got Ricky Lambert Aston Ramirez Jason Punch and Southampton incidentally are doing quite well um, well well by the standards of um, how they started 10th uh, for the moment so obviously there are a few the three points ahead of us but obviously we can catch them up if we beat them so let's do it then let's get to the match if the game ever wants to move on yep that pinwheel is basically the equivalent to the uh, timer the egg timer thing in case you're wondering there we go oh, it's going to be dead slow isn't it yeah thought it might it likes to do this I don't know why it did this on the PC as well so it's not a Mac thing don't worry it, it used to do this uh, on FM12 and it is infuriating actually I'll, I'll be honest so I assume that everyone you may have seen this you know when you, you go into your game and like you press the blue continue button up here and it's you press that and it just stops like it'll, it'll hold down and it stops and then your egg timer comes up it'll come up any second now okay it's not going to do it this time yeah let's sure let's go with that nothing okay uh, let's, let's talk to Hooper. In fact, you know what? This is so painful, I can't. So let's just start the match. Forrest instantly is back. I don't think he's at match fitness, but he uh, is making such waves into the team. That I thought, sod it. I don't care if his, as long as his match fitness is reasonable, which it was, uh, I thought I'd go with it. So if the game ever wants to fucking start, go ahead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Good grief. What's up with that? I say that is not your computer. I used to do that on the PC as well, so I think that's a game thing as opposed to a computer thing. Now let's be honest here. I've got a gigs and an i seven in here. Tidally, the plumbing computer is it? Whoa! And Hooper's coming in. Is Forrest pulls it back across? Not the best cross though for Hooper. Bright start though. Not a bad start. From, admittedly, it was from the kickoff, but never mind. You know, you've got to take what you're given. Scott Brown, who I like as a player. I think he's a good little player. Would not mind seeing him in the Premier League. Oh, and Jason Punchin. Oh, is Aguirre missed? Oh, good save by Forrest. Oh, that was, oh, that was all too much. That I was too, way too close. We are now down at the fifteenth as West Ham have scored against Norwich. Effie Ambrose, who's done very well. So is Kevin Wilson actually. And Rodriguez. Oh God, the player in our box. No, right comments. Get, gets it away. Not too far though. Wait, it goes Adam Matthews now. What, what 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 was he trying to do? <laughs> I could not tell you what was going on there, but uh, okay, it um, stops the highlight at least, so I'll take it. We are coming up to halfway through the first half. Not much real action, but Southampton are looking the better team at the moment. And I think if we move up to control, and again, I'll make another shout here. Let's make another. Yeah, let's go. Let's do some more shouts. Get stuck in. Here's Chris Commons. Paul needs to pull it back in. It's going to be the... Oh, there's no one in the box. It was Gary Hooper. I think he was just on his way in, wasn't he? Damn. Right. Uh, ex exploit the flanks again. They say Forrest and uh, Commons are actually, you know, decent at this. Or Commons, sort of. But Gary Hooper driving on there, changing the drop of the shoulder there, change of pace. Nice from him. Chris Commons, corner. Can he beat the first man? Well, he at least beat the first man, but he didn't find a green and white shirt. Never mind. Gary Hooper, though. Ooh, it's... Oh god, it's broken terribly for them. I mean, I hate shit like this. I hate how the ball breaks almost identically all the time for the opposite. Even I know it happens for you as well, but it's just infuriating when uh when it doesn't happen for you. It happens for the oppo. Right, uh, is Hooper opposition? I should say. I should probably stop using slang. I realise now there are a few foreign fans. Watch us, like fans, viewers. I hate the term fans. No one's a fan of me. You're a fan of the game. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, it's. Um, I should probably stop you. Oh, look, Berbatov. He's got another goal. <laughs> if you've been watching, you'll know my immense hatred for Dimitar Berbatov. Right, Commons, he's won the ball back nicely. And Rogic, that is 1 0 against Southampton. 
the long trip down all the way to the south coast from Scotland and Celtic are now up to 11 so top of the bottom as we see Commons corner terrible Arthur Boric the former Celtic goalkeeper of course I remember him I used to think he was a. I used to think he was a really good keeper as well. But then I remembers. Oh yeah, he's playing in the SPL. <laughs> the standards aren't as high, and then you see him in the Premier League, and he's kind of struggling. But Lambert, or well, kind of, don't know what they were trying to do there. But uh, that kind of says it all to me at the moment. Celtic, uh, sorry, Southampton, being restricted to shots, very paltry shots. Forrest has got to be offside, surely. Oh my God, no! It's yeah. I was going to say, oh, you can't do that. Fuck you, game. No, 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 no. I'm not having that. I am not having that. I thought that was going to stand. It gives a little text. It just dangles the carrot in front of your face saying, ha ha, you scored. Berbatov scored again, look. And uh, oh, that was that was annoying. Right, keep it up. Gary Hooper, though. I'm going to say, say to him, look. There you go. Look happy. Give him a bit of faith, you know, a bit of a pat on the back type of thing, you know. Right, okay, let's do that. I think we're looking a bit better now. We had a poor post. We're having a poor start, but... Uh, we are slowly, slowly getting back to, I think, a realm of respectability. Losing his Crystal Palace, for example, was the low point. Right, here's Forrest. Ooh, not far away at all. I think that maybe even hit the post. But we are doing okay. I'm not going to, as if I'm going to change any tactics. You know, Southampton aren't, I wouldn't say they're struggling or anything, but they are... Looking a little down at the moment. It's going to fall for Gary Hooper, who's got to score. Oh, it's so annoying. He just hits it at the goalkeeper. Oh, it's so frustrating. No, I know it always. I know it's. Oh, I just. It's so frustrating, isn't it? You know, I'm sure people who played this game. Oh, played this game know what I'm talking about. If you have not played the game, honestly, you don't. You have no. You are in no area to criticise me. If you. You know. You know if you've played this game, what I'm going through right now with Gary Hooper he's uh, immensely frustrating you know when you think he's got the quality he's there he can score but he just ends up just smashing at the goalkeeper you know from point blank range nearly and it's like he's he's more depth than that you know right okay we're going to make a sub here I'm going to take off Forrest 6.0 come on a bit harsh uh, ring on what since uh, he looks okay down the wings I'll say the wings attacking wings the irony is, of course, it is wing abuse, but there's no actual wings as the players are in attacking roles, so <laughs> the wingers are actually half half arsed wingers. That's what I might actually call it. I'll call it half arse wing abuse. It doesn't quite have the same ring, though, does it? So, yeah, I just called it that. To be honest, it was the first name that popped into my head. Oh, here's Rogic. He's going to have a shot. Probably should have maybe pulled it back to Hooper, but I think there was some defenders there. I right, suppose so it best free kick in the world from Ricky Lambert right we are going to make a change take off uh, we're going to bring on Wanyama and we're going to move him back take off Owen Hargreaves as well for Joe Ledley we're going to move Wanyama back now to a defensive position uh, just pause it oh, the, I still I keep thinking the pause button's down there uh, tactics I'm still trying to get used to this um, uh, what you call it the skin because I'm used to the FMC skin right okay well, I'm going to go back to contain we've got five minutes to go let's hope we can hold out here got a few more yep we're going into added time one minute to go one minute and ten Lambert's well, flick on oh Jamie Mackey <laughs> it was there and uh, well we moved up to tenth now we're into the top half excellent and uh, Fraser Forster with that. Oh, he's giving the ball away there. It's not. That's not a good move. And Ricky Lambert. Well, that kind of sums up Southampton, really. They've been poor today. Let's be honest. 20 seconds to go. Fraser Forster, why are you not wasting time? Why are you not doing what the computer does? Hooper's offside. That should be enough. Yes, it is as well. Celtic certainly showed they are no pushovers. Thank you very much. Excellent performance. So we are getting better. We are doing it now. So we are level with Southampton, in fact. Nine goals scored, nine conceded. Not the worst I've ever seen, but it's far from the best. Whew, one of the wee... Less. <laughs> That's a bit harsh, I think, but okay. Um, yeah, so Rogic with his first goal, I think. Was that in the last game? I don't know. Um, I'm getting confused myself. Uh, let's have a look at the full table. 
The Celtic now in 10th position. Obviously, we have a game in hand as well on a few teams behind us, like sort of Southampton. And uh, is, it, is it? Or am I? No, we don't. That's Everton. I apologise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, three wins. No draws yet, though, which is interesting. Us, Arsenal uh, and Everton are the only ones without a draw. Incidentally, Reading have not even won yet. Oh, dear. So, that's nice. Nice win for us there. So, let's we just look, have a look at the fixtures now. We've won three in a row. 1-0, 3-0, 1-0. So, we've had these uh, tricky away ties. First away win in the Premier League. And it's going to get even harder now as we take on West Brom, who are currently... Oh, dear, no. They're only they're only down in 19th. It's not good, is it? And Stoke. What is it with Stoke? Why are they so good? Let me, let me guess. Is it Peter Crouch? Does he have five goals already? As he always does. Peter Crouch is just unbelievable on this. He's so irritating. I don't know why he's so good. Who the hell is he? There he is. How many goals he scored? Oh, he hasn't scored. Oh, no, he has. He had five goals. There you go. That's non compelling That's non-competitive. Never mind. He hasn't scored in the league yet. <laughs> I don't know why they are doing so well. Um, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, next game is against West Brom. They're struggling. Hopefully, we can uh, make good use of that and advance even further up the table. So, thank you very much for watching. I will uh, see you for that. And uh, take care. Goodbye.